As it stands today, solid waste incineration on Guam is illegal. The contract as it exists today, nobody would sign it. It's illegal. And uh, GRP is, is um, and it's before the legislature right now, and the legislature is going to have to change the law if this thing is to move forward at all. Guam Economic Development Authority Legal Counsel Tom Fisher says that's why the ball is in the legislature's court. Not only would lawmakers be required to legalize incineration, but they would have to approve the waste to energy contract that's been negotiated between Guam Resource Recovery Partners and the government of Guam. Partial settlement is a result of court-ordered mediation, but the government isn't necessarily in agreement with every provision of the proposed contract, and neither are some Santa Rita landowners like Ken Leon Guerrero, who finds it interesting that although GRRP indicated that Chevron would be its funding partner, Chevron is not mentioned in any of the documents. In fact, Leon Guerrero says based on his review of the contract, GRRP may give up its plans altogether to build a landfill in Atentano and instead... They are requiring the government to provide land and infrastructure at no cost. They're requiring the government to uh, issue the bonds to pay for it. Well, when you take all those into consideration, why doesn't the government just do it under the Solid Waste Management Agency? and cut out the middleman and save the people of Guam millions of dollars a year. Fisher didn't disagree with Leon Guerrero's reading of the proposed contract. And, uh, there are provisions in that um, that are much like what Mr. Leon Guerrero is saying. But it isn't but necessarily what the government wanted. It may have just been what was... It's not necessarily what the government wanted. And I, you know, I just have to emphasize that that's the reason this has gone to the legislature. This is a, a matter of vital government, island-wide importance, and the legislature's voice has to be heard in this. And while the parties wait for the legislature's next move, GRRP attorney Anita Ariola provided the court with a brief update during a status hearing today. Um, the parties are continuing to diligently fulfill their obligations and their duties under the settlement agreement. And we would ask the court for a few more months to finish those uh, steps. Due to an existing confidentiality agreement, the parties are not at liberty to discuss the other obligations and duties under the settlement. The court, meanwhile, will hold a further proceedings hearing on August 4th. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Mindy Egan.